Okie dokie, so we're down here in the sub place where Atlas's family lives. They're over in that bar over there. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Looks kind of weird. Here's a control panel to let them out. But we're not going to do that yet. No, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go around here and we're going to look at some stuff. First over here, you see our first aid station. So we're going to beat up the first aid station and get a first aid kit out of the first aid station for the first aid for the first aid that we need for the level and stuff. Also, there are explosives down here. You need to make careful note of where the explosives are at because the explosives are right here. And if you don't make careful note of the explosives, then we're all going to die. So then you have to jump over here, jump around here. And you have to go down in this place. And there's more explosives and lock on the door. So you hit the lock on the door and go inside. Oh my god, crotch scientist, what's that mean? Spent the morning, John, with that crowd scientist. She's damaged goods, all right. Just like all those chumps they scraped out of them prison camps. But she's no crackpot. She's gonna make... Can you hear me, family in the soap? Are they making any noise at all? She's gonna make me family in the sub! She's gonna make me family in the sub! I love how audio diaries, like, interrupt each other all the time. But back to what we were doing, we gotta go up here now, because we gotta go press the button now that we got all the special stuff down there that you can't get if you don't go down there first. So you gotta run around here, jump up and down like crazy. Jump up and down like crazy is the best part of this experience. Hit the E button. Oh my god, what happened? Oh my god! Hello, Atlas, are you there? Hello, hello. Oh, there he is. Hello, Atlas. How you doing today, buddy? You go up, use up there. Can't be a damn thing in that boot. Give me a tick, and I'll get you out of there. Moira, can you hear me in there, darling? I don't have no ticks. Don't be insects. I'm sure you don't have any doors at the bottom of the woods. So darn. If only your friend could look up and see. Maybe. Oh no, Atlas, you need to be getting them people, buddy. So now we gotta take out all five plasmen. Run through this door. Oh my god, it's a splicer! I put the splicer on fire, though. Beat her to death with my wrench. Whack, whack. Almost die. Now we gotta use our oil barrels. Make them all explode. Hit this guy in the back of the head, because he doesn't know where he's going. Get out and regroup. Man, there's a lot of explosives in here. My god. This is not a safe place to be, Mr. Splicer. You need to run away right now. Man, all these explosions. I sure hope that sub doesn't blow up. Maybe I spoke too soon. You ooze in like an assassin, and then you try to sneak out like a thief. You're no CIA spook. Who are you? Why have you come here? I'm the Easter Bunny. Two ways to deal with a mystery. Uncover it, or eliminate it. <laughs> get out! Get out and get to Arcadia! Jesus Christ! The Irish Porcupine. Oh my god, we're in Arcadia! Oh!
That sounds a little crazy. I came to this place to build the impossible. You came to rob what you could never build. A hump gaping at the gates of Rome. Even the air you breathe is sponged from my account. Well, it's deep. So later you might remember the taste. And doesn't have a taste, silly. You get to the bathosphere in the Roland Hills. That'll take you straight to the devil himself. And then all debts will be paid in full. So now that we got that done. Ooh, ghost. Hello, Will. Ryan tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid series. One poor soul's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Leaks. What a night I got lined up. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med. The augmentation procedure is a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work. But combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach. And after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times... Listen to Audio Diary, dude. Shut up! The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience, Thunderbolt. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open. And that problem will be solved. Where are you at, buddy? They're everywhere! Ooh. Who's everywhere? Hey, you need help? can you help me, man? Sure, I'll help you, buddy. Where'd you go? You stand still so I can help you out. Oh, you're being all spooky and stuff. Are you gonna kill me? Please don't kill me, Mr. Man. I'm new in Arcadia. I don't know the place. Hello? Hello? Where are you, buddy? Hey, over here! Oh, I see you. You want me to go this way, huh? Okay. What are we gonna do over here, buddy? Oh, you got a crazy little mask. Oh, my God. Hello. Hi. Son of a bitch. And with that, I think we're caught up. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.